Hello there boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Aurora Santa Ana and I teach kindergarten, okay? So today we're gonna learn um, about the 10 frame. I know you've seen 10 frame, but we will go back and review it and then we'll talk about one more and one less. What happens if we put one more and one less and we take out one less and um, I'll introduce to you um, another um, math skill. It's subtraction, okay? I put here the minus sign. That's a short sleeping line. Okay, but before we begin, I want you to see the words because we will be using um, these words a lot and you will see a whole lot of um, subtraction words. This one says minus, say minus, M-I-N-U-S, minus. This one is a big word, say difference, difference. Let's spell it out, D-I-F-F-E-R-E-N-C-E, -E -E. difference, and it begins with the letter D, D, D. All right, and this word is subtract. It begins with an S. Spell it out for me. S-U-B-T-R-A-C-T, -T, subtract. And this word, the next word is, oh, it's empty, it's blank. <laughs> and then this one, the two short sleeping lines, this is the equal sign, okay? Remember we did this with addition? Okay, we also need the equal sign for subtraction. And this is the word equal. It starts with an E. E Q U A L, it says equal, and this is the minus sign. Okay, let me put them all here. All right, what does this word say again? It's minus, and this word says equal. This word says difference. Difference is the answer in subtraction, and this is what we're doing. We're doing subtraction or taking away, and this is the equal sign. Let me put it here and the minus sign right there okay before we start okay um let me put this away i know you have seen this before you know what this this one is called right what do you call this again it says the 10 frame why is it called 10 frame again let's count the squares here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there you go we got 10 frames you know um, have you seen your pictures before? What do you do with your pictures? You put your pictures in a frame, right? So this is a frame. How many frames do we have? We have 10. But guess what? We have five on top and five frames at the bottom. So it's called the 10 frame. Okay? Now, we don't need to count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You don't need to do that because this is a waste of time. You know, there's 10 frames because this is the 10 frame. Now, I have here, and, um, okay, let me use this. What if I put a circle here? How many do I have? One. You guess, notice how I start from left to right, like when we read, okay? Left to right, and then we start from the top, and then we go to the bottom. Okay, if I put one more, if I put one more, this one says one more. I had one, and I put one more, how many do I have? Now I have two. So two, I have two now, and I put one more, now I have how many? Three okay now I need to put one more okay I need one more so I have three and put one more now I have four right if I have four and I put one more now I have five okay so all the the top frames are um, fill, filled out so what do I do next I start I go to the bottom but should I go to this side or on the left I always need to start on the left okay so one, two, three, four, five. But you know, there's five. So you just say five and one more. How many do we have now? Six. Okay, we have five. This is six. I have one more. Then we say seven. If I have seven and I put one more, then I have eight. If I have eight and I put one more, then I have nine. Notice how there's only one empty frame here. So if there's only one empty frame, you know there's nine because you have five here and four. It's like addition. Five plus four equals nine. But I have nine. Nine, and I put one more. So how many do I have? Now I have ten. There you go, right? So because I have five on top and five at the bottom, it is ten. Like five fingers on one hand and five fingers on one hand. Put them all together. It's always ten. Yeah, got it? So you call this the 10 frame. Say it again, 10 frame. Now let's switch it up. Let's 
take it out. So notice this is the first one, right? And this is my last one. I st I'll start taking out the last one that I have here. So if I have 10 and I take out one less, why do I have one more here? Okay, I put a one less. Let me just do this. All right, I have one less. If I take one less, what's how many do I have? Nine. If I have nine and take out one less, how many do I have? Eight. I have five here and three down here. So I have eight, right? Guess what? I take out one more. So eight and one less is what? Seven. Okay, now I have seven and I take out one. One away is what? Six. Okay, we have six, but can we take out one? So this is six is one less what? Five. Okay, six. And we took out one, so we have now five. So five and one less, how many do I have? Four. Four and one less, how many do I have? Three. Okay, three and one less is what? Two. And I have two and I take out one. Okay, so two, one, and then one less here, one less circle. Now we have one. I only have one. And if I take this one out, now I have, well, how many? Zero. Now I have nothing. I got nada, zero. Okay, zero means nothing. All right? So that's what you call the 10 frame. I have here the little um, 10 frames, and I have the dots ready for you. Let's play a little game, okay? How many is this? Three. Okay, how many is this? One. How many is this? I have five on top and two at the bottom. Seven. Okay, let's do it quick, okay? Uh-huh, guess what? Ting! I have five on top, five at the bottom. How many is this? Ten. Good. How many is this? You ready? There's five on top, nothing at the bottom. How many is this? Ting! Five. Okay. Let's do this quickly. Okay. Here we go. I have five on top and four at the bottom. Only one frame is empty. How many is this? Nine. Good. All right. How about this one? All right. I have four on top and empty right here. Empty, empty. How many is this? Four. Good. How about this one? I have five on top and one at the bottom. It is how many? Six. Good. Guess what? How about this one? Nada. Zero. What's this? Empty, empty on top and empty at the bottom. It is zero. Nothing. And how about this one? I have five on top and three at the bottom. How many is this? Eight. Good. And this is my last one. There's two on top and empty. Two. Good job. So parents, you can have them do this at home and just um, have them play the memory game, okay? Then you just have to um, do it and play it by memory. Just, just do it me really quickly, okay? Just show it, flash it. How many is this? Two. How many is this? Three. It should be automatic, okay? All right, so that's our 10 frame and we know what is one more and one less, okay? Here we go. I have a story here. Okay, I have here, okay, I wonder what animal is this, oh, pardon my picture, okay, I'm not very good at drawing, okay, here we go, who is this, who's this, it's mother duck, it's his mama duck, all right, guess what, mama duck has some ducklings, let me get my um orange one. All right, here's the, the first duck. All right. All right. Okay. Mama duck has a duckling, one duckling. And then she has another one. Okay, she got one more. So now how many ducklings does she have? Now she's got two ducklings, right? But guess what? Mama duck has another one. Okay. All right. Now, how many ducklings does Mama Duck have? Now she's got three ducklings. Guess what? One, two, three. She got one more. Uh oh. How many ducklings does Mama Duck have? Now she's got four. Let's count. One, two, three, and four. Guess what? Mama Duckling got another duckling. Okay, so how many ducklings does she have? Now she's got five. Ooh, let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. How many ducklings does Mama Duck have? She has five. Let me get another marker here. 
Okay, so this is the number of ducklings that this mama duck have, all right? But guess what? Mama duck, these five little ducklings, they went away. They went over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Why? Because one duck went away. Five little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. So five ducklings minus one, how many are left? One, two, three, four. Only four ducklings are left, okay? So there you go. So here we go. How many ducklings now? We have four. Let's do this. Oh, let me keep that one out. Equals. Now I got four. One, two, three, four. Four little ducks came out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. So one, two, three, four. One duck came out or went out. So now I have one, two, three. I have three ducks left. Okay. So if I have three ducklings and then one goes away, how many ducklings are left? Three little ducks came out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. How many are left? Two. Mama Duck is feeling sad now. Oh my goodness. Mama Duck is sad. She only has two ducklings. Two little ducks, okay? Two little ducks came out to play over the hills and far away. Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. Oh. Oh, but only one little duck came back. Oh my goodness, there's only one duck, okay? Now Mama Duck is really, really sad. One little duck came out to play over the hills and far away. Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. Oh, but none of the little ducks came back. Oh, cry with me. Sad Mother Duck came out to play over the hills and far away. Mama Duck said quack, 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 quack. And all of the five little ducks came back. Five little ducks came out to play over the hills and far away. Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. And all of the five little ducks came back. All right. Now, they just went away. They just, you know, went somewhere, but they came back and that made Mama Duck really, really happy. Okay, so that is our introduction to subtraction. That's introduction to subtraction. Subtraction is taking away. All right, when you take away, when you subtract, you get one less or you get less. You're not going to get more because sub subtraction is getting less. Addition is getting more. Okay, so um, always remember that when you subtract with a pirate, you always get thing less. When you subtract with a pirate, you find a difference. The difference is the answer in subtraction. So here we go. Let's go back to that mama duck. Okay, one duck went away. How many are left? Four. Okay, this number four is the difference. That's the word difference. Okay, the answer in subtraction is the difference. All right, and this is the symbol. What kind of symbol is this again? You call this the addition, the plus or the minus. It is called the minus, okay? And this called this sign is called the equal sign. You notice this one? The first number is the bigger number, and then this is the one that goes away or taken away, and this is how many are left, okay? Let's practice. How about if I draw... My circles, count the circles with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many circles do I have? Six. So that's what we write first. That's the bigger number, the total. We count the total. How many all together? Now, I cross this out, and I cross this out, and I cross this out. How many circles did I cross out? I crossed out three. So the three is your second number in your subtraction sentence. This is how many you have in all at first. 
and then how many were taken away so you took away so you use the minus sign now you put the equal sign before you write the difference now how many are left let's count one two three there you go you have three left the three here is the difference not this number three but the one here before the equal sign okay or the one after the equal sign i'm sorry okay this is the difference got it all right so this is subtraction when you subtract with a pirate you always get thing less okay less see from six to three that's less when you subtract with a pirate you find a difference this is the difference okay let's try another one before we go this time i'm gonna draw um triangles count the triangles one two three and four how many do i have i have four so what number should i write first did you say four yes i need to write the number four first now I'll cross this out. I can cross this out and I can cross this out and I can cross this out. How many triangles did I cross out? Three. Okay, so that's your second number. So what symbol or what um, sign will I use? Is it the plus sign or the minus sign? I need the minus sign because I took away. How many did I take away? One, two, three. I took, the, I took those um, three triangles away, so three. But this four, where did we get this number four? from all the triangles up here, okay? And how many are left? What's the difference? Only one, okay? So let's read the subtraction sentence. Four minus three equals one. Say it again. Four minus three equals one. Okay, for your homework, can you draw, you can draw circles and you may cross it out, okay? How do you draw four minus two? draw it and show it to your parents find the difference okay what's the difference find the difference draw seven could be seven circles or seven triangles whatever shape you want or you can draw anything then take out two okay seven minus two equals blank what's the difference okay um show your drawing to your parents and this is my last one show me eight minus three what's the difference okay of um this uh, subtraction sentence eight minus three equals blank okay there you go so you draw eight something whatever picture you want take out or cross out three and then how many are left that's what you put in here okay so today we learned about subtraction we learned about the words minus equal the difference this the word subtract and um we learned that subtraction is taking less and um, we learned how to read the subtraction, subtraction sentences, okay? Alrighty, thank you. I'll be right back for more about subtraction.